Trey be dripping. In the building. You know what time it is. Hey, I got the legend himself, man. Troy Wilson. What's up? <laughs> so those of you who are really in the Prelude community, uh, if you know me, you should definitely know Troy. He's actually uh, one of the admins in the Honda Prelude all caps page on Facebook. And um, he, he's control, he controls all the, uh, pretty much the pictures, right? That, um, oh, yeah, the display pictures. Yeah, the display pictures. I made it up there once, you know what I'm saying? And keep posting clean cars. You might get featured. <laughs> but today, uh, I'm doing something a little different, man. We're gonna we're gonna interview Troy and kind of like almost like an interview slash review of his '91 Honda Prelude, and he's gonna tell you why it's a '91 and why it's a fourth gen. I'm a Prelude enthusiast. I've had many Hondas, but Prelude is definitely my favorite by far. Uh, this is a 91 SI VTEC four wheel steer. Brought over from Japan a couple of years ago. Internal on the motor is pretty much all stock. Uh, coilovers on it, they're Jick Magic, uh, Desmond Rega Master MPs. 17 by 8 in the front, 17 by 9 in the rear. It's got a header back exhaust on it with a WS2 muffler. Um, it's got 4 or 5 front bumper, dual retrofit headlights. That was done by the previous owner. I like them. A lot better than the halogens that come in these cars. Uh, interior wise, it's got full leather conversion. Uh, OEM leather rear seats and S2K leather front seats. So it's got yellow cluster from 94 to 96 model, which was a nightmare to put in this car. So this car, I had an S2000, 2001. Um, I like the car, but I never really drove it. And. Uh, I had just gotten a fifth gen recently and you know met everybody up here that had preludes and I started to fall in love with them again. I think Zach was trying to sell it and he had no biters. And uh, I threw him the wild idea of trading my S2000 for it. And uh, we ended up coming upon agreements and a deal and I drove my S2000 from Fredericksburg, Virginia to Orlando, Florida. And, you know, we both flipped the cars over and we agreed on the deal. And then I got this car in, a, in Orlando. I took it to the Keys while I was down there. And then straight back to Fredericksburg, Virginia. And yeah, that's, that's how I got it.
<laughs> so first thing you need to know is not only this is a 91 fourth gen but it's also right hand drizzy you know what i'm saying so he actually handed me the keys so we're gonna take a test drive all right so first things first it is right hand drive so this already feels super awkward but it's not my first time driving right hand drive but we're not gonna talk about so, man, this thing's crazy. I don't know, I gotta adjust the seat. Troy's like 6'8". <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Wait a minute. So, the clutch, for those of you who have never been in a right-hand drive or anything like that, um, the clutch, brake, and gas are the same, but obviously you're shifting with your left hand. So, put my seatbelt on, safety first. So, I ain't gonna stall out. That's what I'm not gonna do. Nah, you got <laughs> You gonna leave the e-brake up though? Oh my God. First, new driver here. <laughs> new driver here. I'm nervous. I'm All nervous. Right. All right. He's got a stage seven clutch. Uh oh. It's like not. <laughs> this thing has no power. All right, boy, how do you get out of here? I'm about to drive around the parking lot. All right, so. Um, the steering wheel is real nice. I like what is what kind of steering wheel is it? Uh, OMP. OMP. That kind of says that on the steering wheel. Yeah, right? it does. It does say it. So. This isn't my first time driving right-hand drive, but it still feels just is awkward. <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, it's not really that hard. I think what you're gonna have to get used to if you ever get a right-hand drive, what you're gonna have to get used to is um, the actual turning left and right from the right side, being on the right side of the road and on the right side of your car. Other than that, the shifting is actually not that bad. Are you left-handed? No, I'm right-handed. Right -handed? I wonder if for left-handed people if it feels more natural. Yeah, I don't know, it took me about maybe 15, 20 minutes to get used to this car. Uh, Cornering is a little weird at first, but you get used to it. My hardest thing is uh, lane placement, because in a left-hand drive car, I don't, you know, a lot of people tend to hug the left side of the lane. Because you're on the left side. Yeah. yeah. But when you're in a right-hand drive car, you can't do that because you're going to be in the median. <laughs> you're going to be in the middle of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just hope I'm not in the middle of the road. You'll, if you do, you'll notice it and you'll correct it. Oh, you know what? Using the actual. Uh, Turn signals too. Oh Wait, yeah. Turn signals on the right side. Yeah. Turn signals on the right and the left is the washer, windshield wipers. Smooth ride. This is a full wheel steering model. When it wants to be. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the only thing about uh, the only thing about four wheel steering uh, with the fork jeans is that it's actually hard to find parts, right? Um. Yes and no. So yeah, I will say, uh, oh, state boy. Oh yeah, Just wait for somebody to slip up. It's almost you. <laughs> so, uh, we'll just say it's my first experience um, doing right, you know, driving right hand drive. It can it can feel a little intimidating at first. I think it's mainly because it's not my car. If I feel like if it was my car, I wouldn't it wouldn't be you know I wouldn't think twice about it. But yeah, it's a uh, really nice man. Rides really smooth, and um, I I don't know 
I guess the four wheel is it working right now? No, no, it's not working right now. <laughs> so, like I said, the maintenance for the four wheel steering is, uh, I guess, tricky. I guess based on what Troy's saying, but um, I can only imagine what what it would feel like. So maybe we'll do a part two when the, when the four wheel steering is uh, fully functional. There you have it, man. There goes Troy's 1991 four-wheel steering imported right-hand drive Honda Prelude. That's a mouthful. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Troy doesn't have Instagram. I don't know why Troy doesn't have Instagram. Don't use it. Find me on Facebook. Find him on Facebook, Troy Wilson. And also join the Honda Prelude all caps page on Facebook if you're on Facebook. And uh, you see that right there? Go ahead and click that. That's the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit.